I just came back from a client meeting where I accidentally, without really trying, sold a Webflow CMS development project. And so I want to share with you how that went for two reasons. Uh, one, if you're trying to sell your client's Webflow CMS, you'll see how I did this. And if you're not trying, you'll see how easy it was to uh, add few thousand dollars into the revenue of the project that I was basically hired to do. So here's the story. Two weeks ago, I started working with a new client and on a big project. Part of that project is redoing their marketing website. Now on our initial meeting before I even sent the proposal, I have asked them, how did you develop your current website and what CMS are you using? And they told me actually our in-house developer did it and we're not using a CMS. And I asked him, do you want me to do the new website, me to do the, the new development for the new website? And they said, nah, forget about this. I said, all right, sure. Sent them a proposal for what they were asking, which is the design of the new marketing website. I also put kind of an upsell, <laughs> like saying, if you want me to do the development, then we can discuss this further on and you know find a solution for you and we'll price that separately. But they didn't even notice this, I guess, in the proposal and they didn't talk about this and we signed you know, the, we signed the proposal and we started the project. Now today was a meeting discussing the website, kind of architecture and what we need. And after doing everything, we kind of came to the conclusion that there is going to be 13 pages to the website, content pages. And so I was, uh, part of the meeting was kind of a lunch break. So over the lunch break, I've asked them, so basically what happens right now on your website if you want to do a change? For example, if you want to try a different headline or, or you know, do change an image, for example. Uh, and they told me, well, we have to ask for the developer to make that change. And I asked them, and what happens if you want to do an A-B testing, for example? Well, then we have to ask the developer for help. And I told them, don't you find this frustrating? And they were saying, yeah, well, we're used to that. And then I told them, look, basically how most people in the world work, they work with a CMS, right? It's a content management solution that enables you to edit your own website and add new pages. Uh, you know yourself as a content editor without the help of developer and they were saying okay so you know what solutions are there uh, I told them well obviously there is there is WordPress which is the most famous one and they were like no we don't want WordPress first of all we don't like how the back end looks like and still when we're working with uh, WordPress we will need a developer and then I told them, look, there's Webflow. And they were like, what's Webflow? We never heard about this. So I've opened up Webflow website on the big screen presentation. And there's a really quick video where it's not even a video, kind of an animated GIF or something that's showing how they're building the interface. And they were asking, oh, so it's basically like Wix, right? And I told them, it's like Wix in the sense that you can edit it on your own, but it's not like Wix in the sense that we can do whatever we want. We can do really great design and I can control the design to, you know, the, the micro interaction in it. And so we can have the best design, like world class design, but still you'll be able to manage it yourself. And then I logged into my account, kind of opened up a few websites that I already did for past clients and show them how fast and easy it was to um, to actually edit the content. And so they were pretty excited about this. They were like, yeah, we love this. We'd actually love to have our developer not work on this and work on, you know, doing product which generates lots of money instead of kind of wasting his time because he's like a full stack top developer working on kind of a static marketing website. And so here's what they were wondering about. They were kind of worried about hosting with Webflow. I told them that if you want to have the CMS for Webflow, you have to have the hosted with them. And they were like, well, we're not really sure about hosting you know, our content with other people. Um, are they really safe? Are they a big company? Are they not going to close tomorrow? And the first thing that they did was kind of open up, because they're a startup, they know how startups work. So they open up Crunchbase, which is basically a website where you can see other startups and how much money they raised and who is the investor and they were like mm, okay they raised three million dollars uh, a couple of years ago which means they're probably profitable and so they kind of looking at this made them more relaxed and also I told them look I know you want to host on your own website but do you actually have stuff like you know SSL and uh, CDN which will make the the you know images load much faster and they were like 
oh, actually, we have that problem that we don't have CDN, and then the picture loads really slowly, so CDN will be awesome. So they were excited about this. There was one more thing that they were worried about. They told me, look, we have um, kind of a page that we did for uh, SEO purposes, which is actually uh, a page that is duplicate half a million times with different content so that Google can scrape it and, uh, you know, and show up half a million results to this page. And so they were asking, how are you going to do this? You're not going to manually create half a million pages with Webflow. And I told them, not a problem. I open up the Webflow API and show them how easy it would be to sync their data with the Webflow um, API to create kind of automatically or technologically all those kind of multiple pages for uh, SEO. So obviously they were like sold on it. They went to the pricing page to see how much the hosting cost. But I want to remind you, this is a company which makes like, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars every month. So seeing like $16 for hosting a website, they were like, ah, it's okay. That's peanuts. We don't care about that. And so I feel like they are pretty much sold on it. I will obviously have to send them kind of an additional proposal for this. But for me, you know, from my perspective, it's obviously much better if they go with the Webflow solution because if they don't, if they develop it on their own, I kind of have to send kind of the sketch files either with Envision Inspect or something and then have the developer understand what I meant kind of like responsive wise and how the interactions work and just the communication to develop this would be such a hassle and if I do the Webflow development myself I can control the whole aspect of the digital experience and do everything just like I want it just like I vision it and deliver to them like a product which I feel is much better quality and I think they were sold on this and so obviously I told them like look I'm sold on Webflow I love them I use them for every client but you you can make your own choice you know you can I can export the code and you can work with with WordPress or whatever but again they were like no we're not gonna work with WordPress but Webflow looks like a super legit uh, solution for us so that's probably happening I did not expect this probably be like a few thousand more uh, dollars into the revenue of the project which is always super awesome and uh, yeah again I think it was this time it was very easy for me I think that you know every salesman will tell you that the best way to sell is by asking a question to the client and helping them realize that what you're talking about is actually the perfect solution for what they need so I think that by just asking them how they work right now and kind of highlighting the problem that the process that they have right now creates made them realize that Webflow can be super good solution for them anyway that's all for today guys it's actually a pretty short day because i'm finishing work right now my brother is getting married later on today so it will be a party night today probably won't work tomorrow and won't vlog tomorrow so have a great day and i'll catch you later on this week